Guys, these are five business lessons that I've learned after making my first $100,000 at age 18. These are things that I learned through fucking up, losing thousands of dollars, and just everything in between. And I want you to walk away from this video being able to take these and run with these and not make the same mistakes that I did. The first thing is, is avoiding shiny object syndrome. This is much harder than you think, but mostly because there's so many opportunities out there, right? You see on TikTok, you see on Instagram, everybody's making money doing something different and you see all of this and you want to go try it. But you have to understand that's really not realistic. And I'm going to say the most cliche saying ever, and it's the man who chases multiple rabbits will never catch one, right? It's true. I'd say it's okay to have multiple businesses going on. It's okay to have multiple different investments and things like that. But I think you should focus on mastering one and scaling that to where you're making a good amount of money from it and then move on to the next one. It's never a good idea trying to start up multiple things at once. I've done it, I've failed a lot at it, and I've done it semi-successfully, but it's very, very hard to do so, and I don't recommend anyone else do it. It's just, it's counterproductive, bro. I wish I never tried to do that. I wish I just focused on one thing. The second one is building relationships with other people in business. These are going to be where most of your business ideas, uh, your new businesses, greatest things are gonna happen, right? I'm not a big fan of business partners. I have business partners for reasons I'm not gonna explain in this video, but making relationships with other businesses, one, and other people who are in the same niche or business as you is a great idea because you can learn a lot from them and you guys can actually also work together and make money together. Not to mention, it just gives you an area of like support inside a business that they'll be able to understand where a lot of other people in your life can't because they're not actually in that business. You start hanging around winning people, people who are doing well in your space, you're eventually gonna become them because you're gonna wanna compete with them. You're gonna wanna become as good as them and you're gonna wanna fit in. So it's really all about who you know, who your network is, eventually you'll become like your network. Third one is investing in yourself. I wish I invested in myself earlier. I just now this year started investing money into myself through communities and courses and also reading. I wish I actually took the time to gain more information, gain more knowledge before I actually started these businesses. It would have helped me a lot, but you know, I can't go back and do that. But that's why I'm telling you, I think it's a great idea to rather than investing in stocks or anything like that, invest in yourself and then invest in your business. I would say investing in the stock market and crypto anything like that i don't recommend if you're trying to get into business until you're actually making a good amount of money where you can set that aside and invest it properly from your business i like investing in yourself one because that will never leave you it doesn't matter what the market's doing it doesn't matter what's going on in the world you will always have that invest in your business investing in your business should come second it's going to be what's going to make you the most money long term you're, you're really not going to make that much money off your stocks you're really not going to make that much money off of crypto unless you hit a pump which is really rare you're more likely just to lose all your money the fourth one is don't be afraid of failure but this doesn't mean be a dumbass but just don't be afraid to fail right take calculated risks. Calculated risk is the number one thing in business. You have to be able to take that risk and move quick and move on your feet and think quickly to take those risks or else you're gonna be left in the dust. Cause people like me, people, other people are willing to take those risks and lose a lot. But by them doing that, they're also going to have the high potential to gain a lot. There's no reward without risk. You have to choose risk in order to get that great outcome you're looking for. At the end of the day, make calculated risks. Make risks that won't end you up homeless, but make make yourself uncomfortable. That's the name of the game. You only grow when you're uncomfortable. Fifth one is using leverage. Leverage, guys, I've talked about this a few times. Leverage is the name of the game. Let me just give you a quick lesson on leverage, right? So say I own a grass cutting business. I don't, but let's just say I do theoretically. So let me show you what low leverage in business is. So I would have extremely low leverage if I got all the jobs and then I would go do them, right? So I would get the call, come cut my grass. I would go cut the grass for 50 bucks. Cool, I get to keep the 50 bucks, but I'm busy all day cutting grass. I have no time to focus on the rest of the business and trying to grow it and expand it, right? That's extremely low leverage. Yeah, you might have higher profit margins, but in the end, in the long term, you're going to have a lot smaller of a business. You're going to make a lot less money. Let me show you what high leverage looks like. 
High leverage is the guy who has all of that hired out. High leverage is the guy who has teams and crews that go around cutting the grass for him. And then he has his marketing, his sales, his customer support all hired out internally. And then he's sitting at the top and collecting a check. That's what the highest form of leverage is. And ultimately, that's what being a businessman really is. That's what owning a business truly is at its purest form. I don't think owning a business is getting, I don't think, I don't see owning a business as own, like doing another job, right? A lot of people say they're starting a business and then they just go have another job, right? That genuinely is like worse off because you're working longer hours. You have to, you don't have all the same benefits with a normal job. You, it just sucks, right? So obviously you're going to have to kind of have low leverage in the beginning. If you have less money, you're gonna have to build up your cash flow, and then you, you can afford to hire out and build systems and implement implement operations and systems into your business and then you can gain higher leverage but i recommend you do that as soon as possible these are five lessons that i've learned after making 100k in business i truly appreciate you watching if you will please subscribe i would appreciate it check me out on instagram at scott or she will also be in the description also check out my free telegram in the description it's free join it we talk about things like business money fitness anything like that anything i talk about on this channel if you're interested in check that out it'd be a lot of, a lot of fun all right i'll see you in the next video